good evening good evening sir very good evening so sir, can you show that see uh, head only only head i'm still yeah. not getting the head so uh, you haven't submitted anything how can i check if i just could initially write like every sunday you can submit your file i can check for so monday we can discuss that Sir, I am submitting. My file got crashed. I started uh, again. If it crashed, so it must it must be there in the quick save, right? It's not saving, sir. Quick save is not there. That saving it should be there. Just check that. Uh, right. So, uh, like. Blocking out the head. So for this we have used base. So like where are you stuck? Like if you want, you can share your screen or something. That's fine. Sir, the I I I part. While I'm about using that move brush, I'm getting the mesh full difference. Mm -hmm. I'm sending the file, sir. This is the file. Because it's very difficult to look up. Like, until you see it, it's very difficult to understand exactly what is the issue. Because the biggest model already have a uh, like shape and proportion, everything is defined. So it should be shouldn't be that difficult to get it. And we practice those uh, base. Structure, right? Uh, where we created those shapes initially, yes, eyes, sir. nose, lips. Have you practiced that those so properly? Yes, sir. I practice. I'm not able to pull this thing, sir. That from after placing the circle, I'm not able to hmm. pull. It's getting uh, different. It's not coming the shape proper shape. One second. I'll open your file. Okay. Where is the head? Ah, uh, sir. Control shift the triangle, sir. I did. Oh. Uh, so this is your base, okay, body. So now you have to first like, at least uh, like shape the eyes. Just to make it a little more different. Okay. So now you want to pull, push, and fit the eye, right? So this yes, is sir. the eye shape. So before that, you have to set the shape also of head. B M V. Move brush. Have a side pose on the. Uh, and uh, I initially mentioned this, uh, like when blocking out, do not use perspective. That's yes, sir, I have to. Your, uh, I'm entire, like uh, this, uh, mess up your entire proportion. Volume of forehead, temporal bone, push it out. Nose, push it inside. It's kind of straight. So 
So for this, control D1 and pull, push, and define the shapes for D, C, D, play builder. So basic shape define those until you know if you define the shape it becomes very difficult to understand. Okay. I, D, and G. So I, uh, basic structure, you can see this corner portion is quite inside. This is there only. This shape is rounded. And size, size is quite big. Slightly you have to pull. You cannot use a big brush and instant uh, just pull it and create it. You have to like do it slowly. Okay. Then up in the sphere. Nineteen. And keep the eye. One. One nine. At least this makes sense. 1i, 2i, and that's is 3i. Now, please it. Like, you can check it with all the references. If you zoom in, you can see the position of this. It's from side pool. Okay, I'll just keep it. This direction, this side. Now, let me see. It's under this. Eyeball and eyeball will be fair always. And okay. it, you can see it, it curves slightly. Maybe you can put it slightly inside. Then go back to your base model. D M V move the yeah, it should be the best. If this is because the scale of the model is way too small. So it might give you a little shoot. So you have to use a smaller brush always. Okay. And take it from all the angles and pull your eye like this one part at a time.
And this is something like you are doing for the first time, so you have to practice a lot. Like if if okay. start walking, you have to do it again. Then it's not okay again, again, again. Maybe ten times you have to do it again and again. There's no uh, like uh, uh, like it, this will happen. You can see like I, I, if I can do it, you can also do it uh, like easily. It's just matter of practice. And organic is something. It's not easy. It's like a, it's a not. I won't put it like you say easy. It's uh, not that difficult. It just it demands a lot of practice and patience. Like uh, mm -hmm. maybe in one go you won't get it right. You have to do the same thing for ten times, then only you'll get it right. So you have to practice a lot. Like those basic okay. forms. So initially I ask like uh, uh, try to fix uh, like get the shape correct because that's the base. If you don't get the base correct, no no matter what you do, you won't get anything correct. And, and organic, there is there is, there are no shortcuts because if you don't know the sh shape, no matter what, you cannot get it right. So you need to learn the shape, understand the shape, and study study it properly and create it. Add to the next. You do it. 
and if you like feel like okay this eyeball i want to move it or place it somewhere else you can do that as well and the little simple master of mirror smart Like not that difficult. Just like practice. If you like, uh, what a uh, good practice. Uh, like what you can do is every day you can uh, like uh, initially uh, uh, so like before starting on your character, you can uh, like every day you can start with those eyes, nose, lips. Try to do it on on a plane, then do it on a stair, and then try to block out the head with the from a stair. So those are like those are practice and those are basic. If you don't understand, you are not able to do it. It no matter what you do and how much you work on a base model, you never get this thing right. So like being basic, like anything, like you understand, like basics are important. Without basics, you cannot move to advanced level. There's no point, okay. uh, like right. So uh, yes, get sir. those things correct. Practice every day on those things. Get those shapes correct. After that, like like uh, first of uh, start those, then uh, then work on this thing for one or two hours. Then next day again when you are starting, like this is, uh, organic is something you have to work on it every day. There is no skip. Like you can if if you think yeah okay I'll do like uh, this is not about this is not college stuff like submission and all those things. This is something your own skill development. So fo fo focus on your skills and process. Uh, to uh, develop your skill, uh, like you have to work on it every day religiously, no matter what. Maybe you're sick, maybe you're uh, not feeling well, maybe you're not uh, motivated enough. But uh, everything keep aside and focus and do it. This is something. There's no break, nothing. And the uh, and you have to work so hard like, till the time you start enjoying it. Once okay. you start enjoying it, then that that will be your breakthrough point when uh, when you start. Uh, like in we are in uh, like uh, in actual uh, thing, um, you start uh, like improving yourself because you start uh, seeing your own improvement, own uh, problems by yourself, and you start fixing those. That is uh, like most important. So if you, every day start uh, like uh, if you suppose okay, one day you can start with your eyes, nose, and basic model, practice it. Uh, like then next day uh, do it once again. Then another day, like we keep it a practice and do it for an entire week, for four or five days or six days, continuously, and keep the keep all the files saved. And in one day, in few a couple of like one hour or one and a half or two hours, you have to do it. It will enhance your speed plus your quality. Uh, then compare your first day's work and your last six day, seven days work. You'll automatically realize like how much you have improved, how much your uh, observation improved because uh, like uh, cre uh, creating organic model and all observation is also very important because it uh, like you see see the this thing on a 2D image and you visualize it in a 3D uh, 3D software and recreate it, right? So that mm -hmm. uh, that pipeline that connection needs to be set. Because you need to understand, uh, this is it's looking 3D and uh, all those highlights, shadow, like there's a volume or there's a depression or there's there's something. You need to understand those things and translate those things into 3D. So until now, unless you really understand that that, like uh, you, you, need to, you need to visualize this thing into 3D. So uh, once you start practicing, you become a uh, you a brain starts processing those things like that. So you can create it very easily. So that is basic. There is no escape. Like I'm honestly telling you, like uh, like there is no escape. Like even uh, like uh, like uh, there like all those uh, world famous artists, they also started like this. They also work on uh, like started working on eyes, nose, lips, or body structure, volume, with fear and block out their head. Same process without base. If your base is not strong. No matter what you do, maybe uh, suppose with the help of a base model, or somehow you manage to pull off a, a good quality character. But 
uh, in reality your base is not strong so no matter what you do uh, there will be some creative uh, like uh, like uh, some uh, technical issues or maybe some creative issues or maybe some volume issues or proportion issues something will be there so make sure fix uh, like uh, work on your base like core like if base is your core if your core is correct no matter what you, if, if, suppose it's a box like you were provided with a box you can create a character out of it very easily because you understand the form understand the structure so that is something you need to understand and create it based on that like focus mm-hmm. and practice every day like i'll tell you honestly like uh, uh, when i was in studio that time also like initially like uh, 10 years back uh, 10 12 years back when zebra just launched industry wasn't dependent on zebra uh, gradually when few like uh, uh, i guess 4 or 5 years in 4 or 5 years zebra occupied the entire high quality thing and uh, now uh, and now today entire pipeline of production and gaming depends on zebrush high poly reason if you create a very good quality high poly your modeling uh, time plus your texturing time reduces uh, tremendously reason and there's like less error less uh, less problem of uh, like less task of issue reason you create a high poly model with all the volume and detail then you use that model for your base for low poly and uh, create a retopo and create a low poly model then uh, in your high poly you have added all the details you bake normal and generate all the maps and and uh, color you have just have to add color like color variation total variation dirt and everything those things so everything aligns properly and it looks perfect so it, it basically uh, like uh, reduces your entire time for uh, your modeling as well as your texturing because modeling you have a base so shape cannot go wrong shape cannot go wrong only thing you have to focus on loops mm-hmm. you correct the loops and do, do that do that that's okay. it so it, it takes a lot of time so focus and make sure like whatever you create is perfect near to perfection like whatever like any reference you see like uh, check our station every day every mm-hmm. single day and religiously check and save uh, files save uh, images and because if you check those things it, in, it inspires you right it yes, inspires sir. you and you get inspiration and you get motivation okay if this artist can do it and uh, so see our station like i show you some few artists um I'll show you a few artists, like Indian artists. I won't show you any foreign artists. Indian artists, they are uh, like uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is something I just saw. I worked with this guy. He's a very comparatively quite a young guy, and his quality of work, like you know, over the year, imp- increased like uh, like unbelievably. Uh, like this guy, he uh, which, huh? Yeah. So he worked in this game. The ghost of. Ha, he right now he's working on. Okay. No, he he is right now he is working on he is right now working with uh, this thing Little Red Zombie, Hyderabad. Okay, okay. So he's working on that team. So he is creating all these uh, all these characters. This is uh, from that game only. From that he's uh, he's working in Hyderabad. You can see that artist Little Red Zombie, and this company it's in uh, Hyderabad, and they are specialized into characters. Uh, they work for only and only character, no environment, no props, nothing. Only and only characters. So this is something like this guy, he started, he's a completely young guy. He's 25, 26, I guess. Not very old. Uh, he's uh, like quite a young guy. And initially he started, he started as a uh, junior artist. Uh, and uh, like he uh, practiced so hard, like he worked so hard, so hard. Like every day after office, he, uh, this, this, is, this is a huge, uh, we have a, had a uh, group, like a team of character artists and we used to practice every day and next day we used to come to office and come, show each other work and uh, discuss, compare, critic and then again go back and then do it. That's how we used to work. So uh, this guy worked so hard. Initially he used to work like basic block out head and all those things. He worked so hard. Now you can see his work. Like this is like... He, uh, within few years, he, his improvement improvement is unbelievable. This is something right now he's doing. So it's very good, work, very good quality work. There's uh, one more artist is there. Uh, uh, 
तो बहुत ही धूम प्रशांत और प्रकाश गॉड हुकूम दिस गाय प्रशांत और प्रकाश from to you see in some prashant something i forgot his name that's a really good artist uh and uh, like this guy and my sir i guess here mohammed basu so this guy is he's also a uh, little red zombie and he also worked for the same team and uh, initially he he also started as a junior, junior artist and he worked so hard so hard and and i can see he also working with zombie and doing this kind of work and very good quality work so this is something like uh, like practice this is only practice you have to work really hard every day really you see like uh, i remember like uh, after office used to work like uh, every day till 3 o'clock in the morning like morning uh, 2 o'clock 3 o'clock every day after office like 8 hours of exhausting office you go home and again work for the, like 4 5 hours right that much dedication is required if you really want to improve and do it so i won't uh, sugar coat it and say you it's very easy and all the thing i'll tell you the like, ground oh, reality it's uh, it's a little it's it, it's not exactly hard Even Think i it, tried it, some it, characters but i did not complete it i left it all off of hmm that's all like that dedication that patience that dedication like uh, that is something you could develop like everybody can do it but only thing character need requires a lot more time as compared to environment props and other things so uh, you have to spend a lot of time and you have to develop that patience and that um, they are like self motivation to work on it continuously repeatedly every day so that is something is required to develop right so that is something to focus the okay uh, just keep yourself motivated okay today I, okay today it's uh, okay it's not that good okay I'll, tomorrow i'll practice once again i'll do it better yes, right keep motivating yourself and do it keep practicing so the easiest thing what i personally felt like if i, I started working on like when i like i st- i did my bfa right like yeah. oh, 2006 2006 7 uh, like 2002 i started like 2003 or 4 we had a live study class in that live study class uh, we were also new so we were doing like we are okay we we, we were uh, able to draw and everything but live study is bit different like you see something and uh, draw the same character on your uh, manually uh, pen paper So the pencil and paper so it becomes difficult so a uh, a teacher are taught us like a practice every day every day come like suppose you have a class for two hours you uh, sketch your draw or paint the entire character in that two hours first day i couldn't do it like i couldn't able to even able to finish my character is drawing just drawing i'm not i wasn't able to finish second day somehow somehow i managed third day i was managed to uh, finish then little bit shading then fourth day fifth day I, every day we practice 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 every day we start from zero then uh, final uh, like uh, we had like uh, two weeks of class continuous class uh, then uh, well, end of two weeks that sir asked us to uh, like uh, like uh, show me your first day work and last day work we opened both the work together and we we checked and we uh, couldn't believe ourselves like what we start from what we started like that was no, like so nonsense stupid some work and the last day after just in 15 like 15 days we are work improved by 100 times if you keep practicing every day and every day start from zero your speed mm-hmm. increases your quality of work increases your uh, observation increases everything develops basically so okay, so uh, what you have to do is every day Like, uh, like, okay, I'll tell you my uh, shortcut. How my brain works. You know, like, when, whenever I, uh, like, uh, like, maybe I am upset, or maybe I am uh, not uh, bored, or maybe I am feeling to do something, or I'm anything, like any state of mind, or I'm angry, or anything. I, uh, what I do, I just channelize that energy to let's, okay, let's do something, let's work on something. So I start working. 
and every time you start working from zero and every time like every time you start working from zero and start improving so what happens uh, by that like you uh, channelize your energy like maybe middle of the night 2 o'clock you woke up and you feeling okay i am not able to sleep i don't want to sleep today i want to watch some netflix some show or something no why should i do, do that like every day i'm doing the same thing okay let's uh, walk today so t- uh, like 2 o'clock you woke up till 5 o'clock you are walking you will do something practice like it's about okay, artist like artistic thing is something it's not um, it doesn't uh, follow your basic rules right whenever mm-hmm. you feel like maybe middle of the night maybe middle of the day maybe whenever you feel like okay right now i want to work on my file go and start working don't okay, uh, okay i'll do it later or this and that no right now i'm feeling like to work go and start working like everything can be second because this is something this is something uh, like when you have learning stage now when you are in learning stage utilize your energy utilize everything enjoy your life do everything but focus on your score and you know, get those things correct okay or that should be your priority so a skill like right now getting the skill correct getting the understanding and observation correct is very important so get that thing correct and then work on it and do it okay so too much of too much of lecture for today so i'll just uh d m d uh Move the eye. So you can see. I just uh, one thing I noticed. This eye, the stair, the stair part is quite low. So I just moved it down and pushed it. So for every character, it works differently, right? So I so sure. I kept it here. Then just I noticed. Okay, from this angle, it looks quite low. So I moved it down. So until unless you uh, like keep working on that thing and keep and keep your reference open. Always have a reference. otherwise it will become very difficult so like don't do anything blindly always have a reference okay maybe you are a very good artist very good uh, understanding everything but there is no harm to have a reference right so because we yes. all can do mistakes we all can do mistakes so always have a reference and so that whenever you stuck you have something to refer right that makes the life easier Okay, so like this, just balance and this also. Why is it this is out here? Yeah. You can see at uh, this angle, so I have to move it slightly down. So small, small thing. It's like see, maybe seems like uh, nitpicking and as well, but that organic is like that. Only you have to either it's correct or it's not correct. If there's any error, any angle, any issue, and always check it from all the angles, like every angle, check it from all the angles. It should be perfect from all the angles. Okay. Check it. So you can see now it was like this. So cancel. Right. It was like this. you can uh, like can be uh, like because of what i did i just pulled push my basic structure this is structure with the nose position and all those jaw position all those positions are important if i don't place it correct my eye position i won't be able to understand and one uh, like uh, first uh, first try to match the silhouette silhouette uh, structure from side and front side and front then place all those things Eyes, shape, and all those things. Then, then start adding detail. Otherwise, it will become difficult. And this is like all practice. So we can see I have added like same technique. I uh, like applied all this alpha to the entire body. Some, sorry, some detail. And we have uh, these references where I can see, you see, the small, small bumps, lumps, and all those things. That is something I can create. So 
and those lines also I can create. So for this, I guess I believe I have created a separate layer. Yeah, a new layer I have created. I can keep symmetry because now all these things are asymmetrical. So I can keep my symmetry off. DDS damn standard you can see you need to know you have two lines now this is the time for fine detail And if required, you can detail the like switch off all the skin details and all. You see this one. And there's a skin detail. This here. We'll see another one of this. Yeah. Now I have this one. And on this, I can start adding all those details so that I can see everything clearly. Like a small, small line. Maybe these are not much, right? Not much, very fine, tiny detail, but uh, uh, like everything together will add a lot to your model. Those fine details, one more. So you can see, like you have to separate each and every detail from each other. Like fine details are separate, your lines are separate, your all these lumps are separate. Everything is separate and do it separately. So there's no limit of detailing. So I can just simply start keep working on it and add details one by one as much as possible. Five lines on the curve. But we, when we are posing it, the details will stretch, right? Nothing will. Ha! Detail will. A few areas, like if you open the mouth, little bit things will stretch. Okay. But that will, uh, that will, uh, like you, most of the area it will look natural. Reason: your skin is thick, right? Your skin, entire body is thick. Way to change your pose, like open, like you uh, close your hands, open your arms, or those or those things. Your uh, underarms, all those areas stretch, right? So automatically it yes, will sir. give you those feet, those kind of effect. That's why I create an entire mm -hmm. model in a, a T pose, and th then we create it. But ha, there will be cases like uh, maybe torso or maybe near to leg or all those area or maybe wrist might be slightly stretched. That is something we can manually fix.
with age all these lines become prominent the prominent and like for uh, like this in between thing that is that can be symmetrical these lines are not much and maybe you won't uh, even uh, uh, like the notice them in final output and maybe won't be uh, like that prominent or visible but the like, uh, com combination of all the small small things and everything adds up and gives you gives you a more realistic appearance okay And those like fine lines. Because this side hasn't added anything, it adds the lines. So that side is, I don't have a reference for, from that side. So I'm adding some things randomly referring to this uh, right side reference. Like this, I can add fine details, and I can pick, pick up a standard brush and freehand, which is my symmetry, and add some kuchi in the formation. So I can either do it in the same layer or I can do it in the, on a separate layer. Okay. Uh, the small, small bumps and lumps. So that is that should be symmetrical because all those things cannot be symmetrical logically. You can do it like small bumps here, just like pimple or some skin pore or some surface, some undulation here and there.
Randomly, this is most full thing. Add stuff and give you better result. Then all the layers. So you can see, like uh, combining everything, these things are just give just a like a hint, like just a hint there. Like if there's a dot, that's it. Nothing much. Not that prominent. Okay. If you want, you can like obviously you can go and fix, uh, reduce this intensity of this skin pores and all, and make it like this subtle. You can definitely do that. Let's try that. Oh, not this one. This is like a big lines. I should uh, rename this properly. Yeah, this one. This is one of the noise. This one is fine, then this one I guess. Not this one. This one is it. It's unnecessary. This is it. So I can select this one and delete it. Then this material. This is kind of. This is kind of fine. This one and reduce it to be to prominent point five. body yeah now you can see those dots are little little bit more visible as i just deleted one layer so now i can like based on that i can reduce things this one kind of fine and this one is point 0.5, point 0.2. Okay. So now this one is better. You can see like it's very subtle trans transition from like really strong detail to subtle detail. And I can see all those lumps I have just, I just added. To make it really subtle and clean.
to do that and save my file. <clears throat> and you see, I'm, I'm not fixing this as of now, these things. Like I want to, uh, once I create the uh, like pose, then I'll fix it. This will make my life way easier because I don't want to do any unnecessary work where this is half of things are not visible or anything. So fix it that time only. And uh, like all these small small pose also require. I need to create those here. So like this, you can create really a good quality detail and then you can just uh, simply bake it. In my perspective. So almost like most of things are, are almost ready. Not finished, I can definitely add more details and finish it. Not finished, but yeah, almost ready. Some veins and all those things are still missing. Okay, like one thing that I noticed, like these lines, those wrinkles, because skin is little well, for this character, skin is kind of a loose. And let's start recording and add those. So we just make sure it's on your chemistry. So those wrinkles, and this is basically your deltoid joins the shoulder plate, and that is it. So I can just simply add the very volume. I just find the two. Center part, make sure no symmetry. Thank <laughs> you. 
like blue skin which is full This mark lose them. Like whenever we have loose skin, I send it to a finger. The skin looks a little loose and it has so much detail. You can put a symmetry and these on your uh, like cut wounds. You can add detail like depth. And the wound, I can make it bit, oh, sorry, no, no. bit smoother. Like usually, you have this kind of scar and all it becomes flat in nature. So shift and reduce intensity, and then start smoothing it. Yeah, usually those things won't uh, heal back, so those uh, skin surfaces and everything you lose. They become kind of like flat, uh, flat surface.
Add all the tail. You can see like there's no limit of the tailing. Like you can go uh, on and on and on and add as, as much as the tail possible. Enhance the shape. Add some depth. Just to make this nice and clean crisp shape. Enhance all those cards. Here also, like those holes and wrinkles that should be a bit prominent. Enhance all those lines and shapes. Thank you. 
And similarly, the four hands and all, the, the earth, and how the folds and lines that you see, that can be enhanced very easily if lines are missing. All this thing, one hundred and fifty slightly. Usually, we have like two lines, three lines or something. They randomize slightly. So, some people have this uh, vertical and horizontal lines and all. They form this thing, it should be visible and it should be quite clean. And because when you uh, like, uh, like the high poly, uh, you can add all those details and you can uh, like, uh, use this model for 3D printing or you can use it for uh, like uh, like high poly, or low poly, big, all the details. Like recently, uh, like uh, I have printed one of my models, and there's like two or uh, more models in like, the process here. Still, but we need to divide every part, so it's for three D printing. Uh, depending upon the position, like pole. Okay. Depending upon the pose as a three D printer and what kind of printing you are doing, that is also matters. Okay. Because the material and your uh, all those things matter a lot. Uh, like uh, usually resin and all, you can print the almost the entire model together. But in if you be going for PLA or plastic filament thing, so for that you have to uh, separate your entire model. So different different uh, techniques are there. Different, different uh, materials are there. The reason that is to modify. That's again. And arranging uh, uh, resin is expensive, and PLA filaments are cheap. Uh, cheap. Okay. We'll get the every detail in printing, so. Uh, uh, in resin, in resin you will get almost every detail, but in PLA you won't get. Okay. And that too will depend upon your scale, scale of the printing. Okay. And 3D printing is something like, uh, like they have a quite a good market. And uh, and you, if you, you can create a really good detail high poly model in ZBrush, you can be a 3D, mm -hmm. uh, like 3D uh, like a toy model or something, or for 3D printing, you can work and they pay you a really nice amount of money. 
Hmm. Like Indian client also they pay decent amount, and if you get uh, international client, they pay really well, like very good amount of money. These details cannot just disappear suddenly in between. So, uh, try it and uh, like uh, uh, like every day, practice every uh -huh. day and uh, do it. And it, uh, like, if you having difficulty, uh, like uh, start those eyes, those things, then uh, block out the head, then create your model. So it's like every day you have to uh, like uh, make sure uh, like uh, uh, like all call assignment other things. Uh, apart okay. from that, uh, make sure work for at least two three hours. Like uh, like. like uh, like make sure you get that time and dedicatedly use that time for sculpting only. Yes, Otherwise, sir. it will become very difficult to get the uh, like proper result. So this is something like time-consuming process, but you can see like once you start doing it and you uh, start getting the details, you start enjoying it. So it feels nice and you can do it. And uh, like uh, uh, you're young, so you can use uh, use your time nights and no, like you can uh, like Saturday Sunday is there. Don't no need to sleep on Friday Saturday. Uh, yes, so you can do that. So like I don't know, like uh, that, that's how my brain works. Like Friday Saturday, uh, we can uh, like work really hard, like uh, midnight or maybe late night, three o'clock, four o'clock, and Sunday I can sleep and do my rest of the things like that. So, uh, the, by the what will happen? My skill will also develop because uh, there are a lot of things you learn while working only. Like how much pressure you have to put, how to control your brush and get that uh, like detail and all. Because that is something nobody can teach you. Uh, I can show you, but I cannot really show you like how how I'm using my pen pen and pen pressure. I'm controlling it, right? You can yes, see sir. the result, but until you if you, uh, you get that thing by uh, by practice only. Right, so uh, the practice, and that is some. That's the only thing that's your friend. So make sure you focus on that, and uh, like create something really good, and you'll be really, really proud of yourself. And, uh, focus, do it nicely. So add details, some folds, wrinkles. And it crashed. Anyway, thank God I just saved my file. This ha this happened like when you uh, have a really heavy file, this okay. might happen. That's why like, that's why you always say keep saving your file. Okay. Uh, anyways, if, even if your file saved like crashed, if you reopen your ZBrush, it should be there in your uh, quick save. Okay. I'll you check show it. You this okay, and you can see it will show me this thing. And last, you can see the same pose recovered. Double yes, click, sir. nothing open, right? So that means that one is corrupted. Then this one, you have another array. We so have one, two, three. This should open. See, I got it back. Entire file, all details, everything is there. 
though I don't need it. So I just delete all my quick series. It takes uh, like 100 GB. I don't want it. I deleted everything. I don't want it. Out P and empty. Okay. So do it. Then, uh, like from uh, Monday, we'll start posing our model. And before yes. posing, uh, we have to pre pre prepare our model, uh, like a polygroup and all those things. We have to divide it into polygroups. And then we start oh. posing because uh, most probably we'll be doing this pose. And this one, as you can see, hands and everything is overlapped and here and there, twisted. So it's kind of a complicated uh, pose. So for that, I need to uh, like polygroup all my parts, like shoulder, like uh, all this arm separate. I mean, like separate this polygroup separate for hand, a separate polygroup for this uh, elbow to this uh, wrist, separate polygroup, torso, a separate polygroup, uh, then uh, your uh, hip bone to knee, um, sorry, her knee, uh, a separate polygroup, knee to this uh, ankle, separate polygroup, for feet, separate yeah. polygroup, head, separate polygroup. So group everything separately so that it becomes easy for me to uh, select. Uh, if you have a poly group, it's very easy to select it, right? So yeah. by that, I can select and rotate and pose it nicely. And there, there are two techniques of posing in ZBrush. One is traditional uh, transpose and one is uh, another one is uh, using Z-Sphere. So uh, I'll show you both the techniques. You can use any one of them and pose it. Like, uh, like end of the day, the pose should look nice. So it doesn't matter what technique you're using, doesn't matter. So uh, then you can pose the entire model and make, and then you can start poly painting and detailing and everything. And we can get really amazing detail in ZBrush. We can use like a really realistic poly paint. We can do it with ZBrush uh, very easily, which is not, not very difficult. And it's still those uh, hair and fur and all those things is the same. There are remaining, and this fish is only after posing only we create this. So okay. um, yeah, this, this here we we'll use a uh, fiber mesh and create. And for fiber mesh, there's an entire separate pipeline. So I'll show that how to create it. So we'll do that nicely and add the thing. I guess I reduce it way too much because I cannot see this in the forehead. Okay, while well, like okay, I'll do it. Okay. Anyways, I have layers, so I can increase, decrease any time. That's the best part. Like I have layers so I can increase or decrease my detailing level whenever I want. And you can render it out also. Like nicely. Then let's see if can change the polish thing. The polish thing gives you a nice preview of all the details. But I uh, personally I don't like it. So I'll uh, most probably be using this uh, skin material for and add some poly paint and all these things and then we'll render it out. Right now it's way too white. Okay. And I'll see you on a Monday. Keep practicing yes, and uh, like if, if, if you have any doubt, any problem, until now, unless you uh, and uh, like send me those problem or issue, I won't be able to like uh, like fix, uh, uh, tell you the fixes and issues, right? So try to yes, make uh, like try to submit your file by uh, Sunday evening or something, okay. so that uh, this right, so that whatever uh, is a problem or any, anywhere you stuck, we can discuss those things and fix those things. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll see you on Monday. Okay, sir. Thank you. Bye. -bye.